And tonight, we're also hearing from a recovered COVID-19 patient. Our Seth Kovar has his story. <coughs> this is Matt Newey at his worst. A few days after a test came back positive for COVID-19, his symptoms really set in. <coughs> Primarily a bad cough and shortness of breath. Everything was just burning. My lungs were burning. My sinuses were burning. And my lungs just contracted to where it felt like I was breathing through a straw and I could not catch my breath. That's when he called the hospital to find out what to do. The message? Stay put unless he thought he'd pass out. The hospital didn't want another infected patient possibly infecting others, which Newey says was his biggest fear. I don't want this virus to come upon anyone because I've experienced it and it was awful. And I can't imagine someone who's higher risk experiencing this. That would just be horrible. Which is why with parents in their 60s, Newey spent two full weeks in quarantine in his family's basement. Well, it worked. His parents and sister didn't get sick. And on March 25th, he could get out of quarantine once again with a superpower of sorts. I feel like I'm Superman because I, I have these antibodies and you know, I'm most likely immune to the virus. He's using his superpowers in two ways. Newey runs errands in high-risk places like the grocery store for high-risk people like the elderly. He's also about to begin donating blood plasma, which contains those antibodies he mentioned. Doctors will give them to critically ill patients, a process that's also happening here, and doctors say it's working. The last patient received the plasma on day one, which is a remarkable achievement in my opinion, and that patient recovered in five days. Utah is behind Texas when it comes to that process known as convalescent plasma. Newey will become one of the first donors in the coming days. So oddly enough, he's kind of thankful he got infected. I kind of like being a guinea pig through all this. You know, I'm, I'm kind of happy I, I got the virus so that I have this opportunity to help serve and help other people. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.